okay, so there are many ways to control the back, right? And we've seen um, a lot uh, on this channel and in these classes that we're putting out from the rear clinch, right? Uh, that's just kind of double under body lock position, right? Just, I'm holding someone in rear clinch. Now, we're gonna go over what we call following drills from here, okay? So we need to be able to control the back standing up. We need to be able to transition to the floor. And what if I go down to the floor with you and then you stand back up? I gotta be able to deal with that too, okay? So that's kind of, you know, uh, a package deal. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do it with and without grips. So I want you to think about this following is following in all directions, okay? If we need to be able to follow standing up, we also need to be able to follow on the ground, right? So back control, like what well, if you go to the floor and you're in a turtle or an all fours position and I follow you down there and let's say you move from there, right? And there's different retentions. We're not really gonna address side control today, but you know, you may try and roll out to guard. I've gotta be able to follow you, right? If we're in turtle, I need to be able to take your back, right? Flatten you to go to back mount with the seat, uh, seated position or bridging position. So I've got to be able to address all these things. I need to be able to control you from that back mount, okay? So back control begs a lot of things. And we're gonna go over several of those in this class, okay? So first let's follow from the rear clinch and we'll be doing that in all directions. First, no grips. Okay, so this is the idea. Here, here. And then my face needs to be connected between your shoulder. Okay, get behind me. Good. Feel my hips. Good. Okay, face connected. I can't elbow you. Okay, I can't drop weight back onto you. If you were too low, lower your head down. See that? Not cool, right? That single leg sprawl we've been doing is that. It drops weight in the same way, in case you didn't notice that, okay? But, so if I, uh, you know, start dropping weight back and get my hips away from you, you gotta stay connected. Chest to back, face between the shoulders, monitoring the hips. If I move forward, if I move backwards, if I move to the sides, if I spin in a circle, what I'm trying to do is either elbow or grab for a throw. So you got to be able to follow me in all directions. Okay, and look, still grips. I like that. Okay. Now, <clears throat> what I want you to do here is I want you to do the same thing, but we're going to transition to the floor and then transitioning back up. Now, I'm just going to build that in. Okay. When we get to the floor, watch if I. Start going to the floor and you stay where you are. Don't do anything. See your feet? So if I, if I go down real quick, I can off balance you and start getting out. If I have an elbow hook or I have some connection, I can throw you underneath me. So when I go down, don't stay behind me. Go to the side. Good. Good, okay? So here's, a, here's one of the greatest skills that we develop in this course. Controlling someone, sadly, is not stapling into the floor and owning them every second. Sometimes to maintain control, we have to follow. And that's what these skills are for, okay? So get back behind me. We're moving in all directions. When I go to stand up, you need to encourage that. Oh, we're standing up. Oh, we're going down. Oh, we're going to the side. You're just along for the ride. Stay connected. Midway through that, we'll do a couple reps. I want you to do the same thing with a body lock, okay? So, here's the thing. They're not always gonna be wearing something you can hold on to, but most of the time they are, right? So this, this is a point of something you can hook onto and get a little tighter control than this. We call this backpack grip. 
seat belt grip, all right? Body lock. So start with here, all right? And we've seen a choke from here in a previous class, the Okiri, the collar choke, sliding lapel choke, okay? So grab here and look, look where my elbows are. That's better, all right? Maybe. I, I, this is really good to me. I'm not overcommitted. I can do anything. This is pretty neutral too. This is good too. All of this for this rear clinch is a good grip. Okay. Get your backpack grip. Take the slack out. Get your yeah, slide down a little bit. Because you want some control of my hips with your elbows. A little bit more. Good. Yeah, good. Relax there a little bit. Just monitor. Feel your elbows slide your grip down just another yes. See it, there you go. Good. See, it's the same as what you had. You're just grabbing my lapels with it. And it kind of kind of makes me like lean forward in a way. It's connection. You had connection before, but you didn't have any grips. Now it's just enriched by this. Okay, so all right, go. Tired, you uh, control me, but that's just it, you know. And it wasn't even necessarily that, bear, that it was bearing your weight, you were kind of hitchhiking, yeah, you're moving, but you were lighter because you had some connection, all right. I'm kind of carrying you a little bit, even though we're just here, carrying a little bit of your weight, okay. So that's the following drills from standing, okay. But again, we'll get into it from turtle all fours and also from back mount with hooks.